All right, we're back. Let us continue. So far, we haven't found any items yet. That will change in this episode. Remember, this is a 100% walkthrough, so that little 0% will be a 100% before we're done. I can't guarantee that it will be the fastest or the most efficient playthrough by any means, but I will pick up every item in the game. So feel free to follow along if you're stuck. Let's get to it! Alright, I'm gonna backtrack to this tall vertical room. Eliminate any of the local fauna that happens to be in my way. I love wall jumping. These gar runs go down in one hit. They spawn infinitely out of these chutes in the ground. The game designers intend for you to grind for health and ammunition in places like this. Just gonna get a few more missiles and health. And there we go, fully charged again. Scanning environment. New log entry. Alright, let's check that out. The Golden Temple. This temple stands at the base of a hollow mountain. The statues, carved stones, and its solid design attest that the structure was built to be a sanctuary, possibly with religious significance. The temple has withstood the test of time, showing the building knowledge and experience of the Chozo. Scans detect the presence of stationary robotic entities placed at strategic points inside the structure. No control signals are detected. These units are operating autonomously. Well, I probably could have discovered them for myself. Way to ruin the surprise game. No matter. I'm not heading in immediately anyway. Yes, it is possible to scale a single wall with wall jumps. It's possible in a few other Metroid titles as well. It takes practice, but it's not impossible. This won't really affect the game much. If you folks following along at home want to go directly inside the building, go right ahead. I just prefer to check out the outside of the building first. It's my quirk. It's not really possible to do any major sequence breaks in Metroid 2 anyway. I'll explain why later. Hmm, I wonder what might be in here. Oh, check that out. It looks shiny. Spider Ball. Press 5 in Morph Ball mode to climb walls. Alright. Those of you who have played the Metroid Prime series will probably recognize this item. But in those games, the Spider Ball could only traverse specialized rails. In Metroid 2, it can be used to climb most anything. Very nifty ability. molten Metroid shell there. Alright, well thanks to our new spider ball, we could scale this cliff here and check it out. <clears throat> hmm, stalagmites. Remember, stalagmites point up from the ground. Stalactites hang down from the ceiling. And Metroids latch onto you and drain all your life force. Oof, this one's giving me trouble. There you go. <sighs> I'm not too proud of what you just witnessed. Oh well, I got all my health back and almost all my missiles. Alright, I'm satisfied that we've seen all we can see outside. Let's proceed in. Must be those stationary robots that the log entry warned me about. Oh, check it out. Missiles do a little bit of splash damage in this game. That's a cool feature. Nintendo should take notes of this sort of stuff, instead of doing certain other things. But I'm not going to get into that now. A 
And here we have our first item expansion, a missile tank. Missile capacity increased by 5. So now we have a total of 35 missiles, instead of 30. And that there's an energy tank. Definitely want to grab those. Alright, 40 missiles. The nice thing about these item expansions is they uh, max out the category they're associated with. So they'll refill everything as well as adding extra. Huh, that doesn't stay on very long. I see. A simple puzzle. Nagle my way in here, and our reward is an energy tank. Suit energy increased by 100 units. What that translates to is more health, represented by the 99 up in the corner. Each blue square next to it represents an extra 100 units. Can't get through that yet. We need another upgrade for that. Beautiful. Double kill. There used to be a log entry that popped up the first time you encountered these robotic wallfire sentries, but Dr. M64 took it out for some reason. A small part of the entry is in the log for the Golden Temple now, which was a very bad move in my opinion. I'd rather discover these robots for myself and be rewarded with an interesting and unique log entry than to be warned about them in advance like this. I really like the way that entry was written, too. Luckily, I have a slightly condensed version of it right here. Let me just pull it up real quick. Here we go. Under Hostiles, they had Chozo Robots. So it used to be right here under Native Species. Every robotic entity is equipped with a communications module used to assign tasks to each unit. Since no control signals are detected, most robots continue their labor in an endless loop. Some units have deteriorated and malfunctioned due to lack of maintenance. Security robots can be dangerous. Some models even feature thick armor layers. I just love the way that was written. Don't know why they took it out. Hmm, another one of those barriers. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem we can get anything in this room yet. Let's move on. Hmm. I sense an item here. See? My instincts were right. Also, there's a mini-map on the top right of the screen. Kinda gives you hints when there are items. An open circle means there's an item nearby. A, a solid dot means you've already found something. But you can't always go by that. In situations like this, where there are multiple items in the same place, um... Collecting either of them will change the icon, which may trick you. It doesn't happen too often, thankfully. Hmm. Looks like there should be something beyond that wall, but I can't get through it yet. Okay, move on. Let me just say that I love the way robotic enemies take damage in this game. Parts fly off of them, and they explode in a spectacular shower of metal and springs and stuff. Really cool. Check out that bizarre statue. Looks like the morph ball should fit in it, but it doesn't. I'm sure we'll figure out what those are later. Okay, what's up here? A red door. What might be inside this one? Ah, Chozo statue. They usually hold important items. There we go. That looks like the charge beam. Hold 2 to charge your beam. You can also lock on enemies this way. Oh, wait, sorry. Wrong game. While the charge beam may not lock on to enemies, you can draw in power-ups with it. And in terms of attack power, uh, I'd say it's somewhere in the vicinity of a missile. Not sure if it's, if it's exactly that strength, but it's somewhere in the ballpark. Good for saving ammo. All 
Alright. Looks like we've gotten everything we can on the right side of the structure. We need to loop back around to the left. wall jump. I love how you can still see the sky out here. It really gives the impression that we're just scratching the surface. Oh, there's that barrier we couldn't get through before. Alright, let's continue. Save point. That'll probably be important in a few minutes. Well, maybe we won't need it. This area is heavily inspired by Chozodia from Metroid Zero Mission, which is not a bad thing. Alright. Hmm. More barriers I can't pass. I get the feeling I'm about to get an upgrade. Call it a wild hunch. These robots must be guarding something. Red door means power-up. Another Chozo statue, and my reward is... Bombs! Press 2 in Morph Ball mode to deploy. that, we can break those barriers now and collect another missile upgrade. Bombs are really useful in this game. I'd almost call them OP. Combined with the charge beam, they become deadly projectiles. I like using that trick. Sometimes I forget it exists, though. Alright. Now that we have bombs, we can clear out the rest of this building. Gotcha! That was beautiful. Oh, cracked locks here. Alright, with that we remove another barrier and discover another, another energy tank. Excellent. Right. Well, we're back in the right side of the building again. And I remember just one more room where I think there was something else that I couldn't quite reach. Ouch. That was my fault. Alright. Aha! I knew there was something in here. Alright. Use, uh bombs to jump a little. They propel you in the air just a little bit. And coupled with the spider ball, I could get all these items. Okay, that's where the spider ball was before. Cool. Check out this. Is that cool or what? Bombs are so awesome in this game. Alright, with that, I think we're just about out of time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save. I'll hurry back up to the surface. Go to the nearest save point, And I hope you'll join me real soon for the next episode. See you then!